Hello, and thank you for checking out my website, www.scootybabycrochet.com, or finding me on YouTube. Today, we're going to learn how to change colors for our farmhouse dishcloth to create the two-tone option. I learned this technique from Tapestry Crochet, and it's not just useful for this project, but for all your projects where you may have to change colors or add on to your existing yarn. So let's get started. If you watched my previous video on how to get started creating the farmhouse dishcloth, you'll notice I'm still using the Lily Sugar and Cream cotton yarn in white. But I want to switch over to this sea breeze color. So I've just finished my last back post double crochet. And I'm going to do the color change in the double crochet that we put at the end of the row. So this is our double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook, yarn over, pull through, yarn over again with my white, and pull through the first two loops only with my white. Then I'm going to take my new color Put it on my hook and pull that through my two loops. Then you can just do your chain two, turn your work, and continue on your way with your front and back post stitches. Just like so. Now, for the tails, I will take and cut this. And I will knot them. This is just my personal preference, just to make sure that they're secured. And then I will take, and then I will weave in the ends into my project just to secure it and to hide it. But that is how I change colors on all of my projects, not just this dishcloth. And so with the sea breeze color, you would just finish off your project, do the additional six rows um, that I recommended, and then you just tie off and weave in your end. And there you have it. You changed over the colors to finish out your two-tone dishcloth. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to like my video and please check out my blog for other free patterns at www.scootybabycrochet.com. See you next time.